a very warm greetings to the judges and all court faculty thank you for giving us opportunity to share our thoughts we are the students of last year from computer department of sinhagarh college of engineering so today we will talk about our project called as social distancing monitoring system and how it could be helpful in today's situation of corona virus pandemic so as we all know that the world is facing corona virus pandemic and this pandemic had affected all parts of our life there have been pandemics in past but the things which makes corona virus pandemics different is the high transmissibility of corona virus the world health organization has recommended social distancing to minimize the spread of covid-19 in public places the health authorities have said the 2 meter physical distance as mandatory safety measure in shopping centers schools and other public places if we can practice social distancing then the spread of corona virus can slow down and the collapse of healthcare system could be prevented due to high surge in covid cases but it is always not the case that people follows it so some manual administration is required to overcome this we have tried to develop a system which could help in administration of social distancing in public places so let's see some following main fem- features of our system so this is our login page if the user is already registered on the system then the user can directly log in and if the user is new and has not registered on the system then the user can create a new account using sign up option second is a sign up the user can register themselves using name email and create a password for themselves once account has been created then we can log in with the email and password the third is a dashboard this is premises dashboard here all the cameras which are added to the user profile will be visible and will stream the video if the user have not added any camera to the profile then the user can add a camera using add camera button next is a add camera so user need to add the details about ip camera for it to be connected by the system the details which need to be added are first is a camera name second is a username third is a password the user needs to select one of the protocol among http or rtsp which is compatible with the ip camera the next is the ip address and port number and last user can add mobile number on which they want to receive alerts in case of social distancing violations this is helpful to admins as they can take the required actions once they receive dollars so once the camera is added and refreshing the page we can see the camera as it's now streaming in case there is some problem and camera is not connected we will see the camera is offline if we have entered wrong information about the camera ip address then the connection will not be established in such case we can edit camera details using edit camera option fifth is a edit camera on the top of preview pane we can see the data generated by the system here the data visible is the data by all the cameras which are added to the user profile now we will click on the camera and see the dashboard related to specific camera and the analysis of each camera this is the camera dashboard which have different video feed and the analysis of data generated by the system once the camera is connected to our system each frame of the video camera goes through deep social model deep social is a hybrid vision and yolo we for best deep neural network model after processing of each frame various results are generated which includes three different video feeds and the data associated with the frame the data goes under analysis and it visualized with various graphs and statics 
So now let's see the video outputs. As said earlier, three video feeds are generated. So this is the first feed, which consists of video inputs. And humans are detected using the DNN model and marked with the bounding boxes. So this is the second feed, which shows the people following social distancing in a green circles and the people violating social distancing in a red circles. The circles have fixed radius and when the circles of two individuals touch each other, the color of circle changes from green to red indicating social distance violations. As you can see, whenever individuals are at distance less than the recommended 2 meters, then the circles turn red and when the people are at social distancing and are at safe distance, then the color of circles is green. The third feed contains the crowd map of input feed identifying different risk zones. The region in the video frames which are more crowded are comparatively more red than those which are less crowded. Now we will see the visitation that are created using the data from frames. On the right side of the frame, we can see four data measures. First is the number of people currently in the area. Second is the number of people which are currently violating social distancing. Third is the average number of people in the area in last 24 hours. Fourth is the average number of violations in last 24 hours. So this data is real-time data and it's updated after every 5 seconds. On the bottom of the page, we can see two graphs. First graph is a line graph of number of people and number of violations which is made from all the data points saved in our database in last 24 hours. Line graphs are very useful to understand how the crowd varies overall in a day. The other graph is a bar graph which shows number of people and number of violations in last 8 days including today. This is helpful to administrator to understand the variation of crowd in a week and plan the schedule or timing of activity during different days or during different times on a day. The other important features of our system is alerts. In case of alerts, whenever people are continuously violating social distancing, then an alert in form of SMS is sent to the mobile which is saved in database along with the camera details. The SMS includes the camera name in which social distancing takes place. Once the admin of camera receives the alerts, then they can take the appropriate action. In case of API and the plugin tool. So API and plugin tool which can be added on the website of users who are registered on our web port. Under plugin page, we can see the steps which are required to be done in order to add the plugin tool to user's website. First step is to include necessary files in your website's HTML code. Then add the HTML code to display the plugin tool. Then include the script for calling the API. The parameter that you see inside the start monitoring function, here is the UID of the user which identifies the correct user and send the data linked to the particular user using API. After adding all this, we need to push the code to server. Now, after all the steps are done and the website server is running successfully, we can see the result. In this way, our application will help users. So thank you. This was the demonstration of our social distancing system. So this is our attempt at using technology to create a system which could be beneficial to our society and in this fight against coronavirus. Stay home, stay safe. Thank you.